Hi, I'm Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop. Um, in a previous video I showed how to convert one of these Ferrex grinding machines into a marble polishing workstation and today I'm going to make something very simple um, using it uh, to show you that it's actually quite straightforward and um, it's good fun. <music> here a small assortment of uh, black marble offcuts that I've picked up along the way and I'm going to use one I think probably that one to make a very simple marble pendant it it's already got one polished face but it's not very good so I'm going to polish it all round and square it up and make a nice little pendant the whole point about it is that the um, it'll look beautiful because of the marble in the process I'm going to use most of my discs, at least 8 out of the 10 discs I've got here and the grades running from 50 grit down to uh, 3000. So before, if you're going to do this, before you start, a little bit of risk assessment. I'm using wet and dry grit disc, uh, discs so okay, uh, and dipping the uh, stone in and out. So it'll, it'll run dry occasionally and um, there'll be dust in the air, so I'm going to wear a mask. I'm going to wear my goggles and I'm going to just keep an eye on where the water's going. Uh, I've used it before quite a lot and I haven't had any problem, but it doesn't hurt to just keep your eyes open on what's happening. The other thing is if you're doing this and you're working um, with this machine, is it vibrates a bit because you never get the discs on exactly right make sure nothing's going to fall off your bench. <laughs> if you hear a clatter, you'll know I haven't cleared up enough. <laughs> so, always roll your sleeves up when you're using any rotary machine. You don't want your sleeves to get caught in the machine, although this is quite a safe thing to use. There's the bit of marble I've chosen. It's got some, it's got one polished face, as I said, which isn't particularly great. It's going to need grinding off. Uh, but it's got some nice white veining in it, which looks quite nice. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a 50 grit, which is very coarse, and I'm just going to grind the thing to shape. So as I said before, mask on, goggles on, no talking for a bit. shaped it with a 50 grit and uh, it's quite a nice square shape now and now I'm going to carry on through the whole set of diamond uh, discs uh, until it's polished. See you afterwards. So 50 and 100. Thought I'd show you this at this stage. I've just finished the 800 grit. I don't know if you can see that. Let's put a bit more light on the subject. I don't know if you can see that. It's net. It's very close to being polished. And what I've done, I've slowed down the machine. I'm doing it very slowly, just trying to stop these edges from chipping. Some marbles will be prone to that, especially ones that are multicoloured. And I've got three edges that are absolutely sharp and lovely. And I've just got one that's still got a bit of chipping on it, which is that one. And I'm going to persevere with the 800 grit for a few more minutes and then carry on because I'm very close to being done. I'm pleased with that.
Right, so I've just finished the thousand grade and at that stage I decided to what's called take the arises off which is to take the edges the sharp edges off I thought perhaps the thousand was the last one I'd be able to do that it's it's polished already it's not the best polish in the world so far but I've got another couple of grades to go yet at least that's really looking like a nice little thing carry on move up to the 1500 incidentally one trick with this is to slow the machine down and when you start and just turn it up as you're working it's it's it just feels a bit more comfortable to do it that way. So that's it, that's the 3000 grade. Let's get the water out of the way for now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a lovely polish on it. It's not quite finished yet, but it is really nice. Just going to finish it off now. In fact, it is, it's a lovely polish. I'm just going to finish it off now. I'm going to use the cloth reel because it's a softer finish than the. Uh, off, we don't need that. I don't know if you can see that from there but that has just such a lovely polish on it really high polish and this is a difficult material to work with um, I know from experience that it chips easily and um, that's why I chose a black marble really because it's not easy to polish black marbles but that is just lovely now what I'm going to do I'm going to drill one end and fit a pin in there um, so that it's, it'll make a really nice pendant and as I say it'll take its effect simply from the beauty of the marble well, there it is I'm so pleased with that it's got a fantastic polish on it I don't know if you can see that um, I'll take some photographs and when the I've, I've glued the pin in the top this is a silver eye pin and um, the glue because it's a bit chilly today it's taking a bit of time to go off and I'll take some photos and put list them on the end but that is it's a nice simple thing and I think it'll make a lovely gift for someone knowing that it's handmade and natural marble Really nice, I'm pleased my marble workstation worked out really well. I shall continue to develop that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I do like those, I'm pathetic like that. If you want to see me make more and more marble things and stone items, there are so many things I want to try and make. <laughs> I'm kind of panicking. I, I don't have enough time. But um, if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, you'll see me evolve the workshop. 
putting more equipment in the workshop and making more and more ambitious things I hope and as I say I'll post a few more photos just on the end of this video thank you again for watching